Welcome. This is what's happening on the sun today, the 27th of June 2011. We have three anniversaries today. First, 57 years ago, the world's first nuclear power station was opened in Oblensk in the USSR. 44 years ago, the world's first ATM was installed in Enfield in England. And lastly, 118 years ago, the world heard the first sounds of Happy birthday, Kelly. It's a measure of how low activity has been when you get excited about a B7 flare, but we've had one in the last few hours. And the exciting part of it is that it's a very sharp flare, which if you remember correctly, I claim to be in the sign of growth. So somewhere something is growing. So let's see if we can find out where. When we look at the sunspot groups, there seem to be several candidates. Region 1241 is still hanging in there, but is very small and faint. Interestingly, Region 1240, which had all but disappeared yesterday, is now back again and has got several fairly reasonable spots. So that could be one candidate. Coming over the northeast limb, there is, seems to be a fairly large spot. There's probably something coming over the southeast limb as well, but I'm not quite sure about that, so we'll probably have to wait a couple of hours to see what that looks like. By the way, Noah assigned the flare to region 1239, which is a region that doesn't exist anymore, so I'm more than slightly confused by that. If you look at the Sunspot movie from the Solar Dynamics Observatory, you can see region 1240 disappear and then reappear. This is not usual magnetic activity. If you look at the magnetic movie, you can see in more detail that there's a small region that emerges in amongst the old magnetic field. Those are the new sunspots. There's not very much going on in the Helium-304 images from the Solar Dynamics Observatory AIA instrument. However, as several of my subscribers have pointed out, does this picture remind you of anything? The Corona movie shows the development of all the active regions. But let's focus on the region in the northeast, the one with the large spot that's just coming over the limb at the moment. Even with the region behind the limb, you can see small bright loops forming. But the region is not altogether very dynamic and we've not seen any major eruptions in the region over the last few days. The combination of the C3 and C4 data from the SOHO uh, chronograph shows no major eruptions. However, there is a little faint coronal mass ejection off the south limb. But the question is, is that coming towards us or going away from us? So to find out, we'll use the Stereo Ahead data. The Stereo A spacecraft is orbiting at about 90 degrees ahead of the Earth. And so in all of these pictures, the Earth is to the left. We can see when we look at the chronograph data from Stereo A, that there is indeed a coronal mass ejection in the south, but it's heading to the right, which means it's heading away from the Earth. The A's data show us that the temperature of the solar wind has dropped, as has the velocity. However, the density, shown in orange, remains about the same. This means we're now under the influence of a slow speed solar wind stream, which is unfavorable for the formation of aurora. The NOAA 15 data show us that the auroral zones in both the northern and southern hemispheres are fairly agitated, while the KP index is varying between 1 and 3. So in summary then, the sunspot number is at 26, the X-ray background remains at B2, the intensity of the radio sun is at 90 solar flux units, solar wind speed has dropped considerably to 400 km per second, and with a density of 1.5 protons per cubic centimetre, and the KP index is running at quiet. To all intents and purposes, my 24 hour forecast remains very similar to yesterday's. C flares are still possible, M and X flares are very unlikely. The sunspot number will remain low, but it will increase a little bit with the appearance of these new regions. Coronal mass ejections are always possible, but a geomagnetic storm in the next 24 hours is very unlikely. From the composite coronal image, we can see that there's one small region that's due back in a couple of days in the southern hemisphere but then there's at least three or four days before any more regions will likely come over the east limb. So there again, unless new regions emerge, we're not going to get very much of an uptick in activity. So if you want more details about the sun, follow some of the links in the description box below. And if you'd like to see earlier editions of the sun today, go to my channel, they're all listed there. If you'd like to see what the sun was doing one, two or three rotations ago, go to the sun today videos on the 31st of May, the 4th of May and the 7th of April respectively. My featured global warming video today is Snowmageddon. 
So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.